Long Island on the Holston River in East Tennessee is a community that no longer exists. It was a quiet, little close-knit group of folks that never bothered anybody, even got along with their big neighbor, Eastman Chemical Company, across the river. But times change, and one thing led to another, combined to cause this little community to slowly fade into history. There was always the threat of floods. Back before TVA dammed up the river, seasonal flooding was just a part of life on the island. But they adjusted and kept going. Perhaps the one event that signaled the beginning of the end of this little community happened late in the afternoon on December the 4th, 1967. Truck driver Clarence Kingman was on his way to Oakwood Markets in Colonial Heights with a load of frozen food when he said he missed his turn on Highway 81 and took another road which led him to the bridge over Holston River on Long Island. Now that bridge had a five ton limit and his truck weighed 13 tons. But somehow that warning sign was missing and he drove onto the bridge, which collapsed, sending his truck into the river. Kingman escaped without injuries, but the bridge was now impassable and it would never be repaired. A few years after the bridge collapsed, Sullivan County started consolidating many of the schools. One of those scheduled to be closed was Long Island Elementary. That was the heartbeat and soul of the community, and without it, the community lost much of its identity. Also about this time, Eastman Chemical Company felt the need to expand its operation. That outgrown the land on their side of the river. They began offering to purchase homes on the island at a fair price, and according to the residents, even offered to sell the homes back to the owners for $1 if they wanted to move their homes off the island and locate somewhere else. The following photos show a glimpse of life on Long Island. It wasn't always glamorous and it wasn't always good, but it was honest, decent folks. I hope you enjoy these.